We are all trying to get our heads around the tighter restrictions being brought in right across the country, including West Yorkshire, which will move into Tier 3 from Monday. Yeah, so let's uh, head to our favourite street in Leeds to find out what they've made of everything going on at the moment and how they're trying to keep their spirits up. Morning! 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 Morning. Uh, <laughs> oh, scary! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Okay, so we're in tier two. So I think that means that we can go trick or treating. I mean, what are the people's plans for the weekend? We usually go trick or treating with our grandkids, but I think uh, what this year what we'll do is uh, go round to their house and haunt them from the outside. We're just planning what we can do without going trick or treating yeah. and knocking yeah. on people's doors. We're going to have our own party, aren't we, at yeah. home? The four of us. So if people come to your door trick or treating and they've got like a an all over mask. Does that count as a COVID mask? Can they talk? Yeah, yeah I absolutely. I think it would. I don't think you'd get away with that one, Ray. <laughs> Your nose isn't covered. <laughs> no, it's half term now this week, so it's nice to have you back amongst us. How's it affected everything in school? Children, definitely are excited about being back in school. I think overall, though, there's been, like, positive feedback, you know, they've been getting the balance right with... It's independent activities the children need more of, and um, yeah. I think, you know, they've been getting that. We feel so lucky because um, we've not had a single day off at all. We've not had anyone sent home. Ellie, your school's had to send home a whole year, haven't they? Yeah, we would just be in our normal classroom, but we got to use the whole school while the rest of the year groups were off. My schools have been managing it as well as they can. Yeah. If whether kids are in school or outside of school. To be honest, I'm I'm now at the point where I'm like, we we feel like we've been hiding from this virus for so so long. And actually, what what we really need is some sort of plan as to how do we live with it? How can we carry on our lives and our jobs and and deal with it? not just hide. I think it's interesting though there's a difference between the four nations in the UK as well. Yeah. Feels like the disunited kingdom <laughs> really. So in Wales they've got this kind of fire break, you know, everybody's in this lockdown. We read about a man who went to the supermarket in just his boxer shorts and a face mask, he was protected, um, and tried to go shopping <laughs> to prove a point that clothes are essential because clothes aren't included. I wonder what they class as essentials as well. Is it pasta for everyone or will, it, will they take into account people's different needs? Mm. But at Halloween, Halloween costumes are essential, oh. aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can get there. <laughs> Well, it's been really nice talking to you guys, um, but I'm really hungry and I think Helen's cauldron might be bubbling over. I think it might. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Happy Halloween. I love it. They're totally gone to town with their costumes. Brilliant outfits. Loved it.